Howdy YouTube. Uh, welcome back to another uh, uh, quick review video by Joshman. Uh, we're talking chainsaw, chainsaw lanyards this time. Stay tuned. I've been meaning to uh, to do this one for a while. Um, I started out. This was my first first lanyard of my own the Buckingham breakaway which is okay it's a solid lanyard it's a uh, shorter reach for sure but there's it's uh, nothing wrong with it really uh, I just I, I had upgraded because of the shorter reach and it wasn't as good as uh, at work positioning at the time so I wanted a little bit more reach but really uh, no complaints now if I were to use it, um, you can do the old uh, toss the top handle up and the one handed uh, release slider down. Um, so I don't know, just uh, it gets the job done. And then I had upgraded, which really wasn't an upgrade to the notch recoil. Um, I, uh, at first I liked it with all that extra reach. We will uh, throw the saddle on and uh, kind of show some more here. So I basically had a Rock Exotica oval carabiner on, uh, girth, girth hitched. Um, and another like a Rock Exotica Pirate HMS style carabiner basically attaching it at one end and then I uh, used the carabiner to stow it but uh, this thing uh, I was using it with with the uh, Shembiner XL before and it constantly this thing will constantly eat up your lanyards it will get entangled these little coils will get entangled with your lanyards all the time and then it was constantly snagging around wrapping around uh, the shem beaner every time or you go to stow stow the saw back and there's a bunch of this going on um, and eventually I got to the I like this at first but eventually got to the point where uh, it started uh, like uh, when I'd ride the ball of the crane out of the bucket truck it snagged it would snag uh, or it snagged something one at one time and then I just thought ah, that was enough so I got I went back to the Rock Exotica transporter, which is working, working much better for me. But I really, uh, really dislike this one. Uh, you got your two. It's harder to throw your top handle up and catch, and the old slide down with all these ribs. And then if you were do, you were to have to like, whatever, you're open the top down or something. You had to almost you either dropped your saw, whatever, threw it down. Sort of this thing. It feels like it's so. it's so long that it feels like your saw like it's gonna fall to the ground and then if it, you know it's hanging down like seven eight feet I think it's seven feet or something like that away now you're like you you know we don't do enough of this all day already pulling the ropes up so you're like I need to get my saw back this one now uh, this one's beauty this is similar uh, to a lot of other devices as far as it's like it's uh the price point might be scary at first i think it's like 60 something dollars it came with just the uh the dmm uh double action pulley and uh or carabiner sorry and uh corner trap so i had uh my own uh you know had to use my own Rock Exotica carabiner and then the, the Petzl open ring was what I decided for and this has been uh, amazing highly recommend this this checks all the boxes for me that's how I attach it to my monkey beaver and the uh, the saw attachment ring there and then I stow it with the Petzl open ring and she hangs down here so easy easy uh, on and off uh, your your saws here and they hang down 
uh, out of the way if I want it to uh, if I want to stow my top handle up a little higher then that's always my option but things I love is uh, that this doesn't like the recoil uh, it doesn't snag your lanyards there's just there's nothing to snag your lanyards the tail uh, doesn't snag it hangs this is weighted enough it usually it's like it's never uh, I don't believe it's ever snagged my uh, or went through maybe every so often your carabiner can go through your transporter like that but for the most part it's so streamlined and uh, the reach the reach is uh, more than enough farther than the Buckingham tear away so I think this kind of like has everything as far as like super um, more reach than you need and just a streamline you can do the old uh, top handle toss catch drop it down uh, that, that works pretty pretty smoothly um, and then uh, the fact uh, that it's uh, also breakaway was uh, was very uh, valuable to me just an extra that extra um, putting the odds in your favor you know if it were something were to go wrong and snags the old saw at least uh, it will uh, break away the the recoil is not a tear away and so with that extra length I think it's probably that would allow uh, even more force to generate the farther it has to go before it gets stopped and then uh, so the potential for injury think has increased you know quite a bit with this so I do not I, I can't stand this thing anymore uh, and that's what brought us to this and I love this thing uh, if uh, if it were to wear out or I damage it or something somehow I would instantly in a heartbeat uh, replace it which I wouldn't have to order the one with hardware and really if you want to you could uh, save a couple a couple biscuits in your wallet and uh, just get the lanyard itself and then outfit it however you want to with like a the wire lanyard keeper or something like a rock exotica carabiner whatever you wouldn't have to but I like this because it also matches my uh, monkey beaver saddle other than this guy here but that's still I just thought that was uh, appropriate appropriate for my situation so if you are uh, rocking, rocking one of these or uh, the old like weaver strap kind that are non-bungee or if you're looking for an upgrade, I think you look no further. This should be all that you need. I, uh, I highly recommend. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. I appreciate all the support.